inshallah I will answer all of the super chats yeah, once Grayson comes back and him too and then we can wrap it up <laughs> got this show before GTA 6 Ahmed Safan gifted five Bobby perspective memberships W okay welcome thank you very much greetings to the both of you salam alaikum thank you the Muslim apologist thank you to everyone yeah, else who's well. watching and supporting just want to go through these real quick mashallah hope you both continue to increase your iman hope you are doing well Bobby Grayson how have your family and friends reacted all, all of my Family and friends are Christian, so you can imagine they're a little bit like, what are you doing? What's going on? I think in the end, my smile will convince them that I'm okay and I'm not turning to a terrorist. <laughs> Samson, love you brothers. May Allah increase your knowledge, strength, and blessing for you both. Yes, sir. May will he die. Grayson, have you understood the true meaning of Tawheed? To repeat back, it's like the, the fitra, fitra is the natural disposition to the fact that there's God in the Tawheed is essentially just the oneness. That's basically what it is, yes. Okay. It's simply, it would be monotheism, but monotheism is a Greek word. So Tawheed simply describes the unique nature of the one God, that he is one without any partners. So pure monotheism, that's essentially what Tawheed means. Tech reaches back, boost the stream, push the like button. Yes, that does, does that actually help when people push the like button? I always hear streamers saying that. It actually does, yeah. But I mean, oh. if you're shadow banned like myself, I don't think it does anymore. But I still encourage and I hope that I will come out of the algorithm at some point again. I wow. made it three times. I got shadow banned three times and I got out of it. But then I just couldn't bite my tongue apparently and I got shadow banned again. <laughs> the truth. They don't want the truth to be known. They don't. They don't want it. They hate it. <laughs> Sheik Bobby, can you share with Grayson like some of the miracles? This is from Norris. Can you share with Grayson some of the miracles you found in the Quran, like the golden mean location of Mecca or mathematical complexity, the structure of surahs and relationship between beginning and end? What I found amazing though was the mirror structure within these within the Quran, and that is that the chapters, the surahs, are organized in a certain way that it goes from shortest to longest and then to shortest again. So it has like this mirroring effect within it. And moreover, it has certain mentions, for example, there's a numerology found in the, in the Quran as well, such as the word day is mentioned 365 times. The word month is mentioned 30 times. So if you want to obsess about certain little details, that's the amazing thing about Islam, you can go on forever. And it's quite amazing how that came about, because the way that the Quran was revealed, it was always based upon a certain situation. Miwa Hidat, you need to read the Sira of Muhammad. I suggest yeah. reading the Sealed Nectar. I have heard of that. You read that? Yes, I have it on my Kindle. I want to get a real copy, but they didn't have it. But yeah, it's very good. It's very good for people outside of Islam as well, I would say. It's pretty relatable, very good English. Mm. It's amongst the best, the top two, top three of the biographies of the Prophet. AFRH, Grayson, what is your favorite surah? Are you thinking of learning Arabic? Listening to Quran and Arabic is a completely different, profound experience. Please watch Numan Ali Khan videos. He's a modern Quran scholar. Favorite surah is definitely Al Fatiha, because that is what convinced me of this is what this entire religion is. So when people, I'm like mm -hmm. trying to convince people when they like press me about why I'm looking at Islam, I'm like, well, this is all it is. It's just only God is worthy of worship. You're the only, you're the only, we only ask you for help. So, are you thinking of learning Arabic? Uh, yes. Walid B. Muhammad was an orphan who resided amongst a pagan tribe. He illiterate was given a message, which is verses over 6,000. If he repeated one verse wrong, he would have been rejected. He tested by many of this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can go back to the Birmingham manuscript, for example. The Quran has been recited over and over again. And yeah, the earliest copies confirm that we have the preserved Quran. King Yar, I was born Muslim. Even for me, I learned a lot from this content. Just like Muhammad, one person can change the world because one is the number of Allah. Yes. AJ, Grayson Brock, visit Saudi, Saudi with a Muslim cowboy Bobby and go to Afghanistan, inshallah. Bobby, Shahada <laughs> story and how do you feel about, how do you feel about your future? So Direct. Shahada story, I don't really understand. I mean, you know my Shahada story, that's on the channel. How do I feel about your future? I don't feel anything about my future, to be totally honest. 
I don't live in the future. No, I really don't. I don't live in the future and I don't live in the past because absolutely not guaranteed. As I said, I had a YouTube video up, but it got deleted because of certain things that I said. I feel like I'm on borrowed time anyways. I really have no clue how old or how young I'm going to die at. That is in the hands of Allah. And therefore, I just live every day. It might sound a bit cheesy and corny. Oh, hey, live every day as if it's your last. But that's literally what I got. I don't have tomorrow. I don't know about that. And if tomorrow comes, then I'm here again. So that's what it is, right? So I'm always here or I'm sleeping and then I'm here again. So I never <laughs> think about my future. Why would I? Dawa Trucker. Oh, no way. I've seen I've seen him on lives before. Grayson Brock, when people in authority don't like what's new and against their ways, they'll fight it, especially the truth. We know it's Islam. I agree. That's how, that's how the world has always worked. Okay. Walid B, he is the biggest underdog. Orphan from sweet love it amongst pagans who sacrificed children, worshipped idols. All was good until a man stood up and said there is only one God. All hell broke loose. Yeah, it seems like, it seems like that's still happening. <laughs> Walid B, again, thank you for your support. He said the Quran means recite. It was memorized, doesn't need to be read. Oh, the Quran. That's what the word means? Quran? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, recitation ultimately. Yes, that's what Quran means. Yeah, it's true. Recitation. Oftentimes you hear this argument that if every copy of the Quran would be burned today, tomorrow you would have another one because we have so many people that can recite it. Yeah. yeah I remember the first time I heard that. It was like one of the first times I was in a, a masjid. They were like, yep. yeah, people have the whole Quran memorized. I was like, I was like, you're, you're serious? The whole thing? And like, yeah, like yep. those, those three kids right over there. And they were like, I was like, <laughs> well, like, what? The whole thing? Yeah, yeah, it's wild. Ali, Ali A again, Aisha's age is a dispute. The fundamentalists say otherwise, but it is an issue of dispute. I've talked a lot yeah. about that on my channel and asked a lot of people. So it is recorded that Aisha participated in the Battle of Badr and Uhud, which took place in 624 and 625 CE. Participated like Aisha what? She fought, yeah, yeah, she fought in the battles, exactly. And so if Aisha was born 613 CE, as suggested by the traditional narrative, she would have been only 11 or 12 years old at these battles. And that is an age considered to be too young for such participation. So therefore, there is a suggestion that she was older. That is one argument. But another one that I find better is Aisha's sister, Asma. So Asma bin Abu Bakr. Uh, Aisha's older sister was about 10 years older than Aisha and historical sources state that Asma was 100 years old when she died in 73 after Hijri. After, uh, meaning she was born around 27 years before the Hijra. If Aisha was indeed younger by 10 years, and this is mentioned in the Hadith that she was younger 10 years, this would place her birth around 17 years before the Hijra, making her closer to 17 to 18 years old at the time of marriage. And this is why some people dispute it. Nuri Hassanov, mashallah, Bobby, Jazak. Oh, brother, 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 brother. Yeah. Jazak Allah Khair for conveying message of Islam. What, is, Allah khair. what does that mean? Jazak Allah Khair. Jazak Allah Khair just means basically like blessings uh, of Allah for you. I see, I see. Or may, may, or may God reward you, actually. So I have to answer why yuck. I see, I see. That, um, thank you very much, brother. Mnanda Marwali, may Allah preserve you, brother. Loreji Hoxha. Hello, brother Bobby. I think Grayson is having yeah. time no, to that's, that's Albanian, that's Albanian. Lirie Hoxha. Liri, Liriji Hoxha. Lirie Hoxha, I would say. It's Albanian oh, for sure. Sick. I think Grayson is having a hard time distinguishing between worshipping versus honoring Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Yeah. Your answer, is that true? Just everything is so foreign to me. Like even saying peace and blessings be upon him. I'm like, like, you know, it, it sounds a little, it, it all sounds kind of strange to me. And then when I hear like, you have to profess Muhammad, like you have to say the word Muhammad before you like become a Muslim, say that he's a messenger. And then just always hearing Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. I'm like, is he being worshiped? But I mean, I guess worship then someone, well, what's worshipped? I guess worshipped is when you pray towards Muhammad. And that would be, according to the Quran, the greatest mistake you could make was asking for help. So when I read the Quran, I don't feel, I don't like get nervous about, about like the religion at all. 
So, which, I mean, that is the religion. It's, it's supposed to be, so. Peace yeah. be upon him, you know that it's not only for the Prophet Muhammad, right? So you should say that with every prophet. What, what oftentimes, is... I, oftentimes I see, listen, I don't really care for people, you know. Oftentimes I see that some Muslims, they don't say peace be upon him when they speak about Jesus. And they're very, very anal about saying it with the Prophet Muhammad. But we should say it about every prophet. We always should send our blessings as Muslims. That's just how it's in. That's what the Quran states as well. After Grayson, keep, keep looking for the truth. You're on a good path. If you doubt now, I believe God will accept you as a Muslim because you're already on the path. Don't feel pressure to accept anything. Thank you, brother. Yeah, that's true. Adamai, you worship God and obey the messenger. He teaches us how. Otherwise, everyone will do it subjectively. So we worship Allah and do so the way the Prophet taught us to do. Grace and Brock. That's what, that's what I've been hearing. Ganderia007. Love Bobby for the sake of Allah. I watched your whole journey. If you want to see... Wow, that's sick. If you want to see how someone comes to Islam purely by rationality and logic, watch all his videos. May Allah... I don't Subhanahu know wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Reward you. Yeah, your, your journey is so journey. inspiring. I, I want to like, I want to keep, I want to like binge watch them. Love. Amy, love the beard. Keep up the good old, good old work and dawah. Yeah, I want to grow a beard like you. Yavus Alarisa. Bobby, I, res okay. I respectfully disagree. Allah blessed you with the truth and you have responsibility to convince whoever you can and convey the message. All right, he's referring to you saying it's, you don't That's take okay. It we can respectfully agree to disagree. I really don't mind because as I said, <laughs> for me, I go by the Quran and the Quran states clearly that guidance is to Allah. So... We're spreading the message directly, indirectly, that's fine. But you cannot convince anybody. So you can convey the message. I think the message has been conveyed. But it's not about convincing anyone. And if you really believe that you can convince somebody, then you're just mistaken, respectfully, yet again. Because you cannot convince anybody of anything that they do not truly want in their heart. It's impossible. AZ, may Allah bless you and your family, my dear brother. Love from Wales. All the way from Wales. Hey, Much love to Dr. Norella Ariffin, just from the super the chat. Doctor. Oh, all of will another get... doctor, Dr. Grayson and Dr. Yeah. <laughs> Hidaya to everyone seeking the truth. May God reward you, Bobby and Grayson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, inshallah. May he reward you too. Lena, I'm a born Muslim and I find myself learning more about Islam from both of you. Love both of your channels. May Allah reward you both, your sister Lena. Oh, that's great. Uh, may he reward you too. That's amazing. For me, that's pretty mind blowing that because I said I grew up hating Islam, may Allah forgive me, and I never thought that I'm ever going to speak about it on my channel, let alone that born Muslims find any type of inspiration in somebody that reverted, so it's quite, yeah, still surprising, still surprising. Yeah. Steve C, Islam is a cult in business um, for people Steve. like Bobby, stay away from cults. Exactly. <laughs> and a business, it's a big business actually, since I became Muslim, man, making so much money, it's the best, just rolling in paper all the time, it's fantastic. And now Steve C, we know him on the channel. He's a Christian and he's always attacking Islam. So he's an enemy of Islam, this Steve. But thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate it anyways, man. <laughs> Steve That's C, nice. Steve C is in your channel a lot. He's def he's in mine too. Oh yeah. yeah, he's everywhere where people get closer to the truth. Steve is there as well. <laughs> May Allah guide him too. <laughs> <laughs> John Oldak, Salam Alaikum brothers. No question, just love thank you guys. You so. May Allah continue to guide us all. Thank you, John. Thank you, Josh. Sure. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description box below to further support my work. Thank you very much for that. And as always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. <laughs>